Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. My name's Wyatt, and today I'll be teaching you about arrays on Roblox. Okay, so in my opinion, I think arrays are one of the most important things that you'll ever use when scripting. So, let's get right into it. It's actually not too difficult to understand, but, you know, it's very important, it's a very fundamental concept, and something that you'll use every day when you're scripting. So, to start what we'll do is, let me just resize this explorer, and let's just create a new script under server script service, and right now I'm just going to name it arrays. Now what an array is, is a grouping of variables. So I'm sure you remember in the previous video where we talked about variables, so we could say local string equals, or we could say like local string one equals test, or we could say local number one equals two, or we could say local bool one equals true. And these are all single valued variables. But another type of variable that I didn't go over was arrays. So what an array is, is instead of defining maybe local string one equals te uh, test one and local string two equals test two, you could say local strings equals and then you use the curly bracket symbol. It's right next to your backslash and your P symbol. And you put two of these, and now you can put as many strings, numbers, or booleans inside of here as you'd like to. So I could say strings equals test one, and then you put a comma to separate the different values, test two, and test three. Now you see that's a lot more efficient. Instead of defining string one, string two, all we have to do is define one variable and call it strings. Now you're probably wondering, okay, this is great. We have, you know, one variable instead of two, but now how do we access these different things? And that's what I'm going to show you. So to actually pull out these values, we use something called the index. So the index starts at one in Lua. So you say index one equals test one, index two equals test two, index three equals test three, and so on. Right? So if I was to put like true and false and all these, right? Index four, index five, etc. So the way we actually pull out that index is say strings or whatever the name of the array is. And then we put these, you put these square brackets. And then inside of that, you say that index that we were just talking about. So if we want to index test one, if we want to get whatever that is, we just say, since it's the first value in the array, test one, so we just say one, because it's the first. If we want to get test two, we just put a two there. If we want to get test three, we put a three. So, what we could say, if I just delete this other code, instead of saying all the different ones, I could just say local string one equals strings and then that square bracket and then the index so the first string is test one so i'll put a one because it's the first in the index and now we can just print out string one and it should print test one but let's just test that if we just go into the game real quick and we look in the output as you'll see test one if we try that again and we say maybe local string two this time equals strings two that should print test two right because it's the second index in the array. So if we go back in, you see test two, right? And you can do this, you know, all the way up to infinity, right? As many indexes as you want in the array, as many numbers, but that's how you pull strings, numbers, booleans, any data type out of an array. Okay, so this is pretty cool, but maybe we don't just want to pull a specific value out of the array. Maybe we want to get all the values and do something specific for all the values. So the way we can do this, it's actually called looping through the array. So what we would say is instead of saying local string two, we would say four, and that's our keyword, and then index equals one. So we start at the first index, we start at test one, comma, and then a number sign, and then the array name, so strings, and that just means so from one to however many variables there are inside of this array, and we say do, and then it'll put an end right there, so it knows where to end the loop, and then we just do whatever we want in here. So we could say print, if we want to get exactly what it says, we say, we could say print, and 
then strings, and then index. And what that will do is every single time it loops through, it'll set the index to whatever value it's at. So right now index is equal to one. So if we print it, it'll say strings index, and the index is one, so strings test one. So if we go into the game, it should print all of the data, all of the variables inside of our array. And as you see, it did that. So test one, test two, test three. You know, we could even add some other ones in here. We could add one, we could add five if we wanted to. We could add true, we could add false. We could even add another array if we wanted to, right? We could say test five, you know, test whatever. And as you see, if we go into the game, It'll say table, whatever that is, it won't actually print it out, but it prints everything in there. So it goes through every single one in the array and it will print whatever it is and we can do whatever we want. So let's say we, let's just make a new array. We could say local numbers equals, right? We have the curly brackets and we could say one, two, five, and six. And maybe we wanted to add all these numbers, but we didn't want to use any math function or anything like that. We just wanted to do it manually. The way we could do that is say local current sum, right, equals zero. And then we loop through the array and add the numbers on the current sum. So we just say for index, index equals one, comma, and then the array name, so hashtag numbers, do, and we could say, current sum equals current sum because we're adding on current sum plus numbers and then the index so the first time it'll go through it'll see one so it'll say zero plus one which is one. Second time it'll see two zero one and it's already one so one plus two three and so on so if we go on the sum of these should be eight plus six fourteen Let me just go right in you see right here, it'll print 14, because that's our answer. That's all the numbers in the array that we loop through, summed together. Okay, so these are just some of the basics that you use with arrays. We can always get more co complex and more in-depth in the future, but don't forget about these. They're super important. You use them every day when you're scripting. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new today about scripting on Roblox. As always, I'll have the pasteman link with the code shown in this video in the description, and I'll see you later. Thank you.